Miss, do you love Jesus? Yes. Is Jesus the center of your life? Yes. How does your family make sure that Jesus is the most important part of your world? Miss, I have a question for you. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Have you ever seen Jesus? In a book. Do you believe in the gifts of the Spirit? Yes. Which gift of the Spirit is your favorite? His awesomeness. Which gift of the Spirit is your favorite? Gift certificates. Please explain the doctrine of the Ascension of Christ. I don't know. <laughs> How can you best explain the doctrine of the Trinity? Church. Which words best describe your doctrinal stance on the nature of man's will versus God's sovereignty? Calvinism or Arminianism? Um, Calvinism. Which word best describes your doctrinal stance on the nature of man's will versus God's sovereignty? Calvinism or Arminianism? B. Where do you fall on the end time debate? Do you consider yourself to be post-millennial, pre-millennial, or amillennial? No, no, Stanley. How can you best explain the doctrine of the Trinity? I don't know. How can you best explain the doctrine of the Trinity? What is the greatest heresy facing the Christian church today? What is the greatest heresy facing the church today? Wigs. Wigs? Who knew? Where do you fall on the end time debate? Do you consider yourself to be post-millennial, pre-millennial, or amillennial? Both. Please explain the doctrine of the ascension of Christ. Please explain these, the doctrine of the ascension of Christ. Well, my dad just got a job as a hearing aid doctor. I guess that's pretty good. One of the great theological debates of the ages centers on the incarnation of Christ. How can the divine word of God become completely historical without surrendering God's deity and thus God's transcendence? Well, Sam, I've actually been giving this question a lot of thought. The canonic problem dissolves when we see the inner logic of revelation and reconciliation as the activity of divine subject, the eternal son, who unites his own being with that of a strange community. The self-emptying of God is intrinsic to the ancient divine Trinitarian structure of God's own being. So, from the furthest side of human estrangement, divine transcendence is revealed in its other selflessness. This transcendence is in the form of suffering love. The inner logic of incarnation is revealed to be a transcendence which has one side in heaven and one on earth. 